I've actually been putting off doing this video the longest. Like, it's Friday now. I should have done this Monday at the start of the week, but I just feel there's no way of doing this without it being cringy. I imagine anyone watching this video probably already knows who I am. Anyone watching it is probably from Waterford anyway, or follows me on Instagram, or something like that. So, yeah. My name is Connor Brown. Oh, fuck. My name is Connor Brown. I am 23. I'm a fitness instructor in Bend on Gym Waterford. I am a personal trainer in my own gym. And I do a lot of online coaching, uh, training and nutrition plans as well. So very up in the fitness game at the moment. So the whole reason behind wanting to do these videos, uh, initially, initially, fucking, initially, it was to try help any of the clients I had. So any of the online clients, um, so obviously with those, you're not meeting them in person, you're not seeing them, so you can't really go through a huge amount of stuff. Uh, it's hard to go through some stuff in detail over text. So it was kind of just to help them more than anything. Just have videos as reference points, show them a few tips along the way. Um, just a little bit more than, we'll say, what would be going up on my Instagram. But then I was like, look, if I'm going to be making those videos for them, why not look just turn it into a full thing and throw it up on YouTube. So I'm only going to do this for um, the cut that I'm actually going to do myself. So I'm doing a cut for eight weeks. Um, normally I do it for 12 weeks, but I'm a little bit leaner starting out this time. So I reckon eight weeks should be enough. So I'm going to do that for eight weeks. Just do a weekly kind of a vlog thing, whatever. Whatever happens during the week, uh, I'll try to throw, throw in some tips along the way. Um, stuff like calculating macros training plans increasing cardio full day of eating just stuff like that along the way to just try to give you a few tips and um, all this a lot of it is going to be personal to me and how i do it so a lot of people will have their own ways their own things of doing it doesn't mean my way is wrong doesn't mean my way is right it's just personal to me and how i do it you might be able to take something from it and apply it to yourself so hopefully you can so day two of the cut, uh, Tuesday 16th of April, um, so this is the first morning weigh in, uh, I weighed myself last night and I was 81.2 kg, so I'll step on in the morning and just see what the difference is. Right, so we're going to take that as the starting point, 80.9 kg, and physique then from, we're going to say day one. Welcome to the casting couch with CB Fitness. So for the first video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your macros. Uh, what are macros first of all? So macros are macronutrients. They are what make up our total calories. So three macronutrients, you have your protein, which is four calories per one gram protein. So protein and carbs carry the same amount of calories per one gram, and then fats then have nine per one gram. So Simple enough, so that's what your macros are. Now, in terms of like fitness, when people are saying, what are your macros and that, your macros are basically what your split is, is nearly what they're saying, what your macro split, so how much of your calories are made up of carbs, how much are made up of protein, how much are made up of fat. Um, so first you want to calculate what your calories are, depending on what you're doing. The easiest thing I think to do is to use the online calculator. Uh, the one I use is TDEE, I think it's called online calculator. I'll link it in the description box anyway, so you can go onto that. Simple, easy enough, all you do is put in your age, weight, height, and your activity level, and that's gonna give you your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. So basically what your maintenance calories is, what you need to take in just to maintain the weight you're at. So if you're looking to maintain weight, that's your calories, you don't need to do anything different. If you're looking to, we'll say, cut or lose weight or fat, which is what I'm looking to do now, you're going to have to consume less than your TDEE or your maintenance calories. And that's pretty much how you're going to lose weight. So mine is about 3,200. Uh, I think it was 3,150 was my maintenance. Uh, that's going off 
82 kg body weight, 23 years old, training six, five or six days a week, and height was 179 centimeters. So that is specific to me, that's not gonna be specific to you. Make sure you put in your own stuff, don't just go off my calories, we'll say. So if my maintenance is, we'll say 3,200 calories, I'm gonna start week one on 3,000 calories. So I'm in a 200 calorie deficit. You want to start in a smaller calorie deficit, okay? Especially if you have, we'll say, less fat and more muscle. If you start too low, we'll just say jump straight down to 2,500. And so I don't want to do an aggressive cut. What's going to happen is, yes, I'm going to lose weight very fast, but most of that weight will come from fat and muscle rather than just being, we'll say, fat and the tiniest bit being muscle. So that's why we do it slow. My whole thing when it comes to cutting is being able to consume the most amount of calories do the least amount of cardio possible while still losing weight. As soon as that starts to plateau, decrease calories, increase cardio. So you want to be as full as possible. You want to expend the least amount of energy, we'll say, um, but still be able to hit your goals, i.e. losing fat. So I think that's enough on that really. So let's just take it then, day one, week one, I'm starting on 3000 calories. So those are my calories, you know how I got that now, I got my maintenance and I'm starting in a small 200 calorie deficit. So let's go into the macro split, so how are my 3000 calories made up of protein, fats and carbs? So protein, simple enough, 200 grams of protein, why am I doing that? It's literally just from doing it for a few years and knowing that's kind of the amount of protein I like. Now, a lot of people say uh, one gram of protein per pound of body weight, so if that was the case, uh, I think it was 185 pounds I was at the time. So 185 grams of protein is what I should consume. When I'm cutting, I like to have more protein. Again, just as a safety net, because you're gonna be in a deficit, you wanna make sure you're maintaining as much muscle as possible. If you have under that protein, I don't know how true it is, but I'd just be a little bit scared that I'm gonna lose muscle. So I actually prefer consuming protein anyway, so it suits me better to have a higher amount. Now, if you're a higher body fat percentage, you can get away with less protein per pound of body weight. Um, you're not gonna be in too much danger of like losing a load of muscle if you have a lot of extra fat there. So if you're like 25, 30% body fat, don't have to worry too much about fucking consuming your body weight in, uh, in protein. Don't worry about that at all. But that's me there, so 200 grams of protein, uh, rule of thumb is one gram per pound of body weight and then more when you're in the deficit right so that's protein covered fats so what i like to do is just whatever my calories are calories are about 20 percent of my calories i like to make up from fat so out of the 3000 that worked out as it was 66.6 grams of fat so you'll see there 3000 calories divide that by five to get 20 percent which is 600, okay, so 600 calories, and then divide that by nine. So why are we dividing it by nine? Because there's nine calories in one gram of fat. So that's the calories from fat. This is gonna give me the grams of fat, which gave me the 66.6 .6 grams of fat. So that's protein covered, that's fat covered. Again, the fat is just my preference. I prefer to consume lower fat and higher carbs, and just because I don't think I eat enough healthy fats really myself, all my fats come from uh, eggs, some fat that's in meat and dairy. That's pretty much it. Like I don't eat any avocados. I don't have much healthy oils, nut butters, uh, no oily fish, nothing like that. So if I was to try a high fat diet, it'd just be a load of shitty fat. So for me, this is what works best. And then carbs then last, whatever is left from the 3000 calories, I'm gonna give it the carbs. So how do I get that? Right, my remaining calories are 1600 calories. So 200 grams of protein here by four because there are four calories in a gram of protein. That's 800 calories then gone just from protein. Grams of fat, so 66.6 .6 multiplied by nine because there's nine calories in a gram of fat gives me 600 calories. So 800 plus 600, that's protein and fat. 1400 grams, or sorry, 1400 calories 
that's gone on protein and fat. So take that away from the total calories, which is 3,000 total calories for the day. That is going to leave me then with 1,600 calories left over. I'm dividing that by four because there's four calories in a gram of carb. And then I have 400 grams of carbs then to play around with. So that's it, pretty simple enough. You can do your split really whatever way you like. What I would say the main thing to do, fat and carbs are the ones you can play around with. Protein and your calorie goal are gonna be the main ones. So find your total daily maintenance, okay? Go into a small deficit, whatever those calories are. Get your protein then, so we'll just say you go with the gram per pound of body weight. Multiply that by four to get your calories. Take the calories away from this. Fats and carbs then, preference. Do what you like, okay? If you prefer a higher fat diet, lower carbs, do it. If you, if you prefer higher carbs, lower fat, do it. Another reason why I prefer the higher carbs is just when it comes to training. Um, it's just, I feel it's better for recovery and just fuel in the gym. I don't really get much of a kick off fats, whereas carbs, I feel like it's gonna give me more energy. This is for girls as well. Don't be scared of, don't be scared of protein, right? Protein is the best, in my opinion, for you. Um, it's the most thermogenic of the macro, uh, macronutrient and the most satiating, okay? So what that means is satiating, it's gonna keep you fuller for longer. Simple, okay? Thermogenic means it's least likely to be stored as fat compared to fats and carbs. So it takes more uh, energy to say digest and least likely to be stored as fat. So higher protein, the better, again, in my opinion. Right guys, so just back from Adley there, um, after doing a quick shop and pretty much picking up all the staples that I'm gonna be eating during the entire cut, um, I have it split up into protein, fats and carbs just so it's kind of easier for you to see. So I'll just go through bits, uh, most of it's pretty straightforward. But I'm going to stick to this throughout the entire cut. So supplements there, you have whey protein and creatine. Um, I actually haven't taken that in a while, but I said I get back on it just for the cut, just so I have something post-workout to get in straight away and just see how that goes. Uh, the rest of the protein then, we have the fitness puddings. Uh, these are on real. Best one is vanilla, don't care what anyone says, vanilla over chocolate all day. Uh, chicken, straightforward, 5% fat beef burgers. Have this uh, steak mince, just because I'm going to make a bolognese. Not really mad on it, but give it a go anyway, just to keep things interesting. Um, turkey rashers, absolute game changer. When I go from normal rashers to turkey rashers, that's when shit gets real. That's when we start getting shredded. Um, eggs different cheeses i'm going to use the light easy singles for the burgers uh smoky cheese for throwing that on the bagels so that's pretty much the proteins and a bit of fat in the egg onto the carbs then so again i'm going to be keeping this through the whole cut burger buns for the burgers obviously bananas bagels instant oats and micro microwavable rice so only reason I really have the micro fuck can't say that word microwavable rice is just because it's easier than weighing out stuff. So you know when you eat the whole packet, what you're getting, you're getting the same thing every time. You don't have to bother weighing it, so it's just a bit of a time saver is all. And this one then another game changer: the diced white onions, frozen already. So instead of wasting fresh onions the whole time, you never use the whole thing. The thing always goes off. Freeze them, throw them in. They're not going off. Get on it. And then just at the back then, a uh, few zero calorie drinks. So this is all the cheap ass poverty stuff. We're gonna give this a go just cause I can't be arsed driving from Ali over to Tesco every time to get drinks. So give the Coke, give the lemonade, give the orange a go. Uh, that's the bolognese sauce we're gonna make with the bolognese later. And then this then, the chili dark chocolate. This is my favorite dark chocolate. I'm gonna throw that in on top of the oats just for the first couple of weeks just to make up the 3000 calories. Um, but that'll be getting taken out fairly swiftly as we go on. So that's everything there. Um, the only thing really that's not there is going to be pasta and then just normal baby potatoes that we'll throw in as well. But that's the crack there now. Yo, 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 CB Fitness up on the mic. Right, so chest and arm workout today. Classic Saturday night pump going on. Uh, so starting off with bench press. 
goal today was to work up to 120 kg and just go for max reps so was looking to get four i'd done three before almost got the fourth last time so i was looking for four and actually managed five today so absolutely buzzing with that uh once i finished max reps on that then dropped it back to 100 kg and on two sets of 10 with that uh done incline dumbbell presses then in between this uh, just didn't film it so we're just on three sets of eight with the dumbbells simple enough it, this one is actually my favorite chest movement at the moment so it's an incline smith machine press uh, but the idea is to basically control the negative for three seconds so you're really getting a stretch on the chest get a wider grip on it and you can see the bar pat it's kind of coming straight down probably just on the nipple line to be honest and then yeah simple right on to the triceps next so standard tricep pull down uh, i do a lot of warm-up sets before i go on to my working weight just so i can get the whole mind muscle connection bro thing going down uh, this is my last set so i'm probably actually going to plate too heavy i reckon here because you can see my shoulders are kind of rolled forward a bit whereas ideally i like to keep them uh, rolled back keep the elbows a bit more pinned and isolated a bit more on to biceps next so classic curls for the girls uh, doing three sets of six to eight reps so going heavy on this one still trying to keep good form so i'm trying to keep the elbows tight making sure i'm curling contracting at the top so getting the pinky in towards the chest uh slowing down on the way down on the eccentric so i'm kind of doing a lot of that lately on isolation where i'm kind of coming up for one and trying to control it down the negative for about three seconds i find that's working pretty well for me so i'm going to continue that for uh, the foreseeable future i reckon right this one this is one of my favorite moments for triceps at the moment as well so this is a cable skull crusher i just find this much better than doing free weights so i was doing dumbbells for a while a uh, easy bar as well but just the tension on this is way better so you can see my elbows as well they're staying locked in place so i'm trying not to let the shoulders roll forward not to bring the elbows forward keep your elbows locked in place right you're trying to do the tricep tricep works whenever you extend the elbow so you don't need to bring anything else into it keep the elbows in place and just extend do not go heavy just keep it light isolated that bit more on to the cable curls next so this is the one as well i'm doing the three second negative so i'm bringing it up squeezing at the top and really trying to slow it down on the way down so again just find the tension on these really really good especially when you're doing the negatives because you're going to have that resistance pulling against you constantly so uh, give it a go shot let me know how you get on boys week one of the cut then in the books down from 80.9 kg down to 79.6 kg so nearly a kilo and a half gone uh, in the first week you now not too worried about that it's not a kilo of fat or not a kilo and a half of muscle anything like like that uh, could be a mixture of small bit of fat water retention bits like that so we're not too worried i can see now it's starting to kind of level off a bit it went from 80.9 nearly down to i think 70 79.9 in two days so now it's starting to kind of level off so we'll keep it at 3000 for now see if that plateaus and then when that does then i'm going to just decrease by 100 calories and we'll add in another cardio session or add another five minutes onto the current cardio sessions uh really good week of training so just finished up on legs there uh didn't really do too much today nothing too uh intense lower back is fairly battered from yesterday's deadlift session so hit uh prs on bench deadlift and squats all this week so very happy with that uh today was my fifth day training so done legs I skipped out on cardio today just because, again, the weight's kind of dropping off a little bit fast, so no need to be adding in 20 minutes on the Stairmaster if it's already going down with the calories I'm on. So Sunday, you're going to be doing a training session with the boys, but it's uh, I'm not even going to really count it. It's going to be just more of a little T-shirt pump. Um, up our body for days is going down. So do that on Sunday. Uh, we're going out then. So when it comes to losing weight and going out, like... It's not ideal to be going out when you're looking to lose weight, but it's going to happen. You're living a normal fucking life. You don't have to stay inside just because, oh, I'm looking to lose a bit of weight. I'm not going to go out. See you later, fucking friends. See you in eight weeks. 
just go out enjoy yourself if it's a once off thing if you do it next day look don't feel sorry for yourself just get back on it pick up where you left off and just keep going there's nothing worse than going out for one day and then the next two three days you're eating shit because you're like right there's one day gone um i'm already halfway through the week sure i'll just finish off the week shitty like you know get back on it get right back to your fucking diet or clean eating whatever you're doing and finish off how you started not too worried about uh, going out because again i'm after dropping from 80.9 down to 79.6 so going out having a few drinks and probably getting a big fat pizza after it's not going to ruin the cut you know it's only one week in i'm not going to be doing this every week it just happens to be the bank holiday uh, going out with the lads so yeah that's the crack with that so plan for the rest of the day is to finish up all the online training and nutrition plans Try put this video together, see what way it looks. Uh, hopefully get that uploaded tonight. And then whatever time is left over then, try put it into getting a decent tan for the weekend then. Because the weather is absolutely class at the moment. So that's the first week done. Uh, bit weird doing video. Still feel really weird talking to the camera. I'm just sitting in my car outside the house, staring into an iPhone camera, talking away to myself. Um, I hope the video doesn't come off too cringy. I'm only assuming that I'll get a little bit better, get a little more comfortable with talking to the camera. But uh, hopefully you picked up something new anyway from the video. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll check in again with you next week then. Yeah, pass this to my daughter, I'ma show what it took. Yeah. Baby mama cover Forbes, got these other bitches shook. Yeah. yeah.